Hi, this is Deborah, and in this video, I'll be expanding on Phil's video about setting up groups. Phil took us through creating groups within three different categories, learning, cultural, and sport. He then took us through using those groups when analyzing assessment data. I will be concentrating on other functionality using groups. Just to recap though, to set up groups will be under the curriculum tab. You will need to have the assessment coordinator rights to this part of the program in order to create or edit group settings. By clicking on define classes, groups or houses, you'll be able to edit or create the group. By selecting a group here, these are the ones that have already been created by your school or you can create a new group. To add students to a group, you would come through here to add students to a group. You can either search for a specific student or a year level. You would click add to selection and they would pop down the bottom. You'll notice the students that are already in that group will have a green tick. Then it would be a question of clicking on the students that you wish to add to those groups, not forgetting to save those student settings. You can also add a student to the group through the individual student. You'd need to go to Enrolment under Student Details. Select a student and click Group Membership. Once there, you'll notice the room, house and any groups that you've set up. To add another group, click here and select the appropriate group. You can also add a start date and an end date or delete them from this group. Now that you have created groups, you can print them through enrolments under student lists. For a classroom teacher, you'd need to click the class button and then filterable lists. Up the top here, we have selection fields, either house or groups. I'm going to select my netball team. When you scroll down here, you can select the different data that you wish to display in your list. You can then display this onto screen. It pops down the bottom here. Or you can export these details to Excel. This is what it looks like when it comes through. Or print to PDF. And this is what that would look like. You can also bill now via groups. You would click on assign a billable item. You would select a group. And then you would select your group that you want. Add the billable item and assign this. You'll notice that the netball fee has come down here under pending items. Then you would need to confirm that. Then you'll notice that the netball trip has been billed to nine students. Thanks for watching and don't forget that the help button at the top right hand corner would if you need more assistance.